Hey fellow explorers, in this video I'm going to show you around John Wayne's Orange County Airport in Orange County, California. If you're flying into Disneyland, this is going to be where you want to fly into because it's way better than LAX Los Angeles Airport. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. We're going to start the walk from the American Airlines gate areas and walk our way over to the southwest area. This airport has three terminals, Terminal A, Terminal B, Terminal C, and all of them are connected here, plain side. Uh, there are three different security checkpoints that you can go through at each of those terminals, and they have pre-check too. Now there's plenty of food to eat here. Coming up on our left is a tasty branch of McDonald's that is always quite busy. I really wish there was in and out Burger at this airport, but alas, you'll have to get that before or after you get to uh, the airport. Not after, not after you get here, but like when you fly in and leave. Hudson News, the classic gift shop where you can get your $4 overpriced water. Good news, they do have water bottle fillers if you want to bring your own bottle of water with you. This is the first security area in the A gates. This is right between gate six and gate seven. There are a total of 20 two gates here at this airport. Now it is a international airport. There are flights to Mexico and Canada that go from here. Basically countries that do immigration pre-clearance because uh, I don't think they actually do passport control here at Orange County Airport. But uh, as someone who lives in Orange County, if I have the opportunity to fly through here instead of LAX, I always take it. Uh, the problem is the flights here can be a little bit more expensive. Orange County, Surf Central, there's a branch of Rip Curl so you can pick up your board shorts to go to the beach a little bit later if you didn't bring them with you. Now, this little part, this atrium here, I roughly consider this the center of the airport, although it's not. It's just between terminal A and B, but I consider it the center because it feels kind of central. There are two lounges up there, the American Airlines Lounge in the United Lounge that's right above the big central Ruby's. Ruby's Diner is sort of a 50s, 60s themed diner, um, burger, sandwiches, that kind of stuff. There's a neat piano right here that if you like to play piano, you can just come here and play the piano. And uh, we can see here out on the runway, nice big windows throughout the whole airport, there's a United plane boarding there. Now, interesting phenomenon if you're uh, flying out of here is when you take off, the planes take off at a much more sharper altitude climb than in most airports because the uh, planes fly over Newport Beach, which has some uh, noise abatement requirements. And so in order to be less noisy for the rich houses in Newport Beach, the planes take off very sharply and then basically cut their engines as they fly over the really expensive neighborhood. Uh, now, I'm walking through this airport at about ooh, four in the afternoon on a Sunday, so it's not a very busy time to go through here. Definitely the busiest time out of this airport is uh, about six or seven in the morning on any given weekday because there's a flight that basically takes off from every single gate as soon as the airport opens in the morning. And so for those noise requirements, actually let me wait till the announcement's done and I'll come back to talking because it's probably hard to hear me in the announcement. All right, so we're now in the B terminal. Here's another gift shop, South Coast News. I think it's probably the same Hudson News with a little rebranding, different skin. Uh, on the right is a Starbucks coffee. When I started this in Terminal A, the coffee bean and tea leaf lines for these coffee shops in the morning are also quite busy. There's a second McDonald's over here, uh, and these in the morning for breakfast can be quite busy. I'd encourage you if you're driving to this airport, there's a McDonald's just like on the other side of the 405 freeway, I would just drive through there and bring my food in rather than waiting in line at these. Hobie here, Hobie Sandbar. Hobie is a 
classic surf brand that started here in Orange County. And so they got a sandbar established in 19. 50. Sandbar is kind of a pun on words. Uh, and now as we go over here, we're going into Terminal C, which is the Southwest Terminal. And uh, there's a little machine here that you can learn CPR. Oh, this is interesting. There's a, in this food court, Brodard Express is coming soon. Brodard is like the best Vietnamese restaurant in Orange County. Amazing spring rolls, so I'm looking forward to that. There's a Cuboda for uh, Mexican food, OC Pizza for pizza. There's a Jamba, used to be called Juice for smoothies, no longer. Um, but uh, yeah, COVID has closed some of these places, like this tech company. Uh, they don't seem to have anybody working there. There's another gift shop. And then this was a like a, like a Greek restaurant, um, Zobs, I think. But this has also yet to reopen since the pandemic. I should timestamp this. When was this uh, video recorded? This was recorded in March of 2023. So that's when you're watching this walkthrough. From here, you can see the ticketing areas over on that side. That's the curb where people get dropped off. There's a really long line over there to go through security into the Southwest gates. But as I told you, you can go through security at any of the terminals and just walk between them. So if you find a long line like at the Southwest gates, just walk over to the United Gates or the American Airlines security and go through there. That's what I always do. Inevitably, one of the terminals will have uh, a short line. Uh, there is regular TSA security. There's also TSA pre-check. There is currently no clear at this airport. Um, you know, nice departure gates up here. We can take a look at this map. You can see we started the walk over there at Terminal A, find our middle there. We are now here and we're finishing up over at the C gates, home to uh, Spirit. They were just passing a flight, just headed out to fabulous Las Vegas. There's a CNN newsstand, Orange County, which I also think is just another reskinning of that same gift shop we've seen before. They've got some C's candies if you want to pick up some chocolates to bring home to your loved ones. Every good airport has an airport bar, so there's a Stella Artois and not a McDonald's here, something different. Carl's Jr., which Orange County is the home of Carl's Jr. Burgers. Uh, they're char broiled instead of just grilled, so it gives them a slightly different taste. There's another coffee bean and tea leaf down here to your right, and a little chow restaurant type market, um, which can have some kind of grab and go drinks, chips, and sandwiches to take on your flight. And now that we're in the gates, C1722, this is where most of the Southwest flights go out of. The airport narrows a bit back here and really there's not much else down this way other than just gates. Uh, I think there is one little bar between gate 18 and 19. There are lots of ads on the walls like the ad for visiting Anaheim, uh, for prior client lending. Uh, Orange County is a very big financial market. There's a lot of big financial companies that are here. Uh, and uh, so banking is definitely a big sector of business people that are traveling in that they're trying to market to. All oh, right, uh, so now it reminds me as I get closer to this bar, this is the Anaheim Ducks Breakaway Bar and Grill. Uh, Anaheim Ducks is the hockey team that's here in Anaheim. Well, fellow explorers, if you're coming to Orange County, California, you'll definitely want to check out some of my Orange County travel guides. You'll find links up here on, up on the screen to some of my favorites or in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.